hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to discuss francis bacon biography and his writing style so francis bacon aapke syllabus mein include and uh, you will study you will read his essays right of truth of studies and of um, single life and marriage marriage and single life right and uh, so before discussing that we'll see his writing style and how this his writing style is reflected in his essays so francis bacon very important writer in literary prose especially in english essay and uh, interestingly he is also known as the father of english essays as well so francis bacon he was born on 20th uh, 22nd of jan 1561 in london and worked as attorney general and lord chancellor of england right so and this is a brief introduction and his work includes what we see in his works in his essays humanism the spirit of humanism and natural philosophy as well right and he believed in the newness of the age and bacon negated nikad means to let go or to give up the aristotelianism right or the idealize the new teachings of the renaissance humanism and then he believed that one needs to experience the reality of existence in order to completely understand life so a realistic writer and also called also entitled as father of scientific method and bacon teaches a certain principles of science in order to understand life right as far as his writing style is concerned bacon first publication a collection of essays about the politics right come into literary world uh, in 1625 right and then bacon grew up studying in um, aristotle's philosophical teachings so philosophical his writing we find philosophy philosophical writing and he opposed the aristotelian teachings and bacon come up with his philosophical approach of trying to understand life closely by experiencing different situations fir uske baat aa jata hai ji bacon bacon simplifies the philosophical approach why philosophical and his writing is direct and to the point direct and to the point it's simple you know and his writings are self explanatory and proves his genius in the literary world and bacon writes in a uh, systematic way without wasting words on unnecessary information right we see self explanatory uh, concise and precise and he is considered as the most important empiricist in the philosophy as well as literary world and uh, he was attracted by the beauty of nature and merged the beauty and knowledge of nature in the manner which allows the reader to have multidimensional view and uh, about quest of mystical parallels between man as co- man and cosmos and magical elements this are not important yes bacon's bacon's desire to make an impact through his teachings and research and he wanted to change the system of old fashion education and uh, this is bacon yes he also play an important role as a linguist as well and language he believes that language is the means of understanding the world around us his prose style right salient features include deep thought right uh, deep thoughts profound thought weighty with thought and many of his sentences can be expanded into a full paragraph such a deep meaning is uh, in his writings and aphorism yes his prose also contain aphorism aphorism you know the short sayings or short wise saying you can say and aphorism is a terse expression of universal truth that contain a universal truth and use of allusions allusion in literature reference to history right and reference to another uh, work of art or historical person or event right in his essay of truth we find a reference to pilate 
who was the governor of uh, Roman Empire and uh, other references we also found in his essays biblical references as well and he was uh, introduced as a type of skeptical about truth we'll discuss his essays in detail right so um, first let me discuss his writing style right especially with the context of uh, his essays right of truth of studies and marriage and single life by francis bacon which are included in your course so his uh, writing style didactic or moralistic right you know about didactic right didactic is something which give a moral lesson so his writing is didactic or moralistic which aims to give a moral lesson let me zoom it right so second one is the philosophical right as i already told discuss in it right his philosophical right and then brevity brevity mean precise shortness right clear concise these are uh, his characteristic his writing and then he is potential and pragmatic practical realistic you can say and he is objective is not subjective right he seems to be objective or impartial you can say and then he use of metaphor and similes will discuss all of them see observe all of these characteristics or his writing style in his essays i'll discuss each essay in detail and then aphoristic aphorism i already discussed right for example in his essay he he write it's a short saying a short sentence that contain a universal truth for example he writes that man is brave towards god but covered of men right he is a deep observer profundity or deepness found in his thought and he's straightforward clear thought provoking religious some religious elements are found and worldly wisdom is found and he is a realist realistic writer realism portrayal realism and use of latin terms right and his drawbacks include the lack of coherence in his writing so this is about francis bacon hope you understand i'll provide you the notes as well link in the description and in the next video we'll discuss uh, francis bacon's essays